Welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to build um, racing um, brushed drone. I will use um, frame from Cortex. It's going to be tiny 115 F3 flight controller, uh, the motors 1020 motors uh, FX uh, mini camera and I will use um, Radiolink AT10 um, transmitter and um, it's going to be hooked to this little thing here, Radiolink R6 DSM ASBUS uh, receiver. I'll show you a few little hacks and modes. So hopefully by the end of the day, you'll be able to build your own little brush drone. Let's start. So let's start with the receiver. This is Radiolink R6 DSM receiver, 10 channel ASBUS. Let's have a look at the frame itself. This is um, Tiny115 from Coratex. So um, we can um, have a look how it may look like if we were to add the um, receiver onto the frame. And plus, we do have to remember that we need a plug. So if we were to add the plug, we would easily find that this way it is a bit too long and there would be not enough place for the to mount the camera. So what I will do, I will remove the pins, I will unsolder the pins and will solder the wires directly to the pin soldering points. Let's do it. And we can see that it just popped popped out. Right. We can have a, you can have a look all three um, pins popped out. And now we can solder the wires. So in order to solder the wires, we should know which is plus and minus. So normally uh, white wire is signal, red positive and black is ground. So if we have a look here, we'll see that, that the pin here, the pin here, it has a sign of the, um, the sign of the signal wire signal wire and on the left hand side there is a ground wire so it means in the middle middle one is a positive wire so white red black You do not want to have too much of the of the wire. Actually, we don't need that. Um, we need just a little bit of that. Um, before we solder it to the receiver, we can tint the end, the the open wires here, uh, so uh, it will be much easier to solder to the receiver.
So now we can see that if we were to use same receiver without the pins, we can see that actually there is enough space to mount the camera and obviously the uh, receiver itser itself becomes a little bit lighter, I would say about 0 0.5 grams. So now we can continue with the frame. So we have the frame and what we can do now, we can um, start building the drone itself. So let's have a look at the frame itself. So first we start with the motor um, rubber rings. We have to install them. And if we were to install these rubber rings, we would find one little thing. And the thing is that they're still there and we can see that we can move them and they move around and that's not a good thing because if we were to add the motor uh, when we hit the drone when we crash the drone or um, you know um, normally when we suffer some crashes the motor may twist as well so uh, we do not want that so what we can do before installing the, the rings and this is what I normally do. Normally I use double side tape, which is here. Um, you can use any double type uh, uh, tape. The only one thing you do not want it to be too thick, um, right? So you can, you can see here, it's pretty thin. So what I will do, I will, Cut this little from here. Well, approximately. And now we can, before installing the rings, we can first use, uh, use the Double types, uh, double double side tape. And we can see that the motors, the rubber rings are not, they do not move. So we can see that a um, bit of um, sticky tape can be really useful when installing the motor rubber rings because what it does, it fixes there and um, the rings 
do not move there they're stable so now what we can do we can add the landing gear 